another beautiful day here in beautiful Plymouth. Well, here we go again, back for another day. Everything's dry, everything's lovely. I hope you appreciated the camera magic. I, I felt very stupid doing it, but it's all right, there's no one here, no one here. It's just me and my thoughts. Our skunk stripe is all dried in. So the last little port of core we've got to whip through, going to nip this off, uh, run this very, very carefully through the sander just to make it all a little bit touchy touchy. And then I'm going to radius this fretboard. Bit of laser engraving with my symbol. Might come up with a new symbol for this one. I think we might put Richard's custom guitars to bed and we'll just roll with the Milo Studios name. I'm gonna have to use some sort of vintage color. I'll look into what Northwest guitars sell because they do some lovely gear. Have a little look at Northwest guitars. Once again, not sponsored, just saying. Let's whip this off on the bandsaw very carefully. Don't wanna take anything off. Don't wanna remove any meat from the schlong. Shut up. Fucking poor. What bandsaw angle is he gonna have today then? So there's a highly technical bit of woodwork for you. One skunk stripe in. Obviously, a fair bit of this is gonna get carved away. But it's all looking nice in the heel. Gotta fill that little hole at the back. Love filling holes. <laughs> so now we get to make a bit of mess on the radius jig. You might have seen this before. You might be new to the channel, I don't know. I'll whip through it, just a little explanation. Nothing too mental, cause you'll glaze over and fall asleep. Let's reconvene, eight feet away. Et voilà. So once that goes on there, look, that's what gives us our 12 degree radius. There we go, we've got a nice radius. Can you see that? Yeah, 12 degree radius. Everyone loves a 12 degree radius. Some people will argue, oh, it must be 14 degrees for shredding. Yeah, whatever. 12 for me, and I'm building guitars that I like. Next thing I need to do is get some holes drilled on here because I can't put it in my jig to hold the fucker until I've got holes in it. Follow on. Very simply now, I've got my headstock template which I cunningly have put a curve on the back. You fucking genius. And that enables me to fix it down onto a headstock after I've done the chopping out. This is just for marking, all right? That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my Brad Point bit. Very carefully, twisting the wrong way, I'm just gonna put a little point in these holes. I always want to use a template of sorts for this job because wonky tuners look like fucking wonky tuners. There's no getting away with it. So the tuners on Dave's guitar, I don't know how clear that is for you, are vintage style, which you can actually get in the road worn version, 42 quid. So put that on the budget, 42 quid. I think that's worth it, don't you? I'll order them. They actually go in an eight mil hole which is a rarity in the modern tuner age. So we've got a drill, an eight mil oil for our tuners. Almost got that wrong then, didn't I? What an absolute moron. Right then, you slags. Here we are on the neck jig. There is definitely a video coming for the neck jig, so keep an eye out for that one. That is a monumental saving when you consider how much they cost. And this is my little genius idea, and if I don't mind saying so myself, it's fucking brilliant. So carry on. I've got my neck in here, everything's dead flat at the minute. 
everything's dead flat because we've been machining things flat as we go. But this is going to offer all the support I need for the neck so it does not deflect. And we can put our slotted doofer on there. And I can see that that at the minute is absolutely bang on. Nothing short of perfect for Mr. Gilmore. I've got some fresh 120 grit on a beautiful Stumac 12 inch radius. You are beautiful, it's true. Sanding block. Almost the length of the fretboard. That's very important for me. You can do it with smaller radius blocks, that's fine. But this just eliminates any inaccuracies, or helps to. That was very serious, wasn't it? Sorry. Pretty standard for all sanding. We're just gonna color this in. You can do this after you've cut the fret slots. You can do all sorts. And we'll make sure we've got a line right on the end. If you're doing a lot of sanding, I use a different jig, one that locks this radius gauge in place. Because as soon as you start getting any side wobble on your sanding action, you're gonna start sanding radiuses that don't actually match this. Weird bit of physics. Now it might be tempting to stop around here, because it's all pretty good. I've got some faint lines there, and any mark at all, don't be tempted. Keep going. If you're buying tools for measuring and gauging things, don't buy shit, all right? Um, that is an Amazon radius block. I wouldn't go any smaller than that. And in all fairness, it's pretty good, it's fine. Um, you can see that you've got, a, you've got more travel on your fretboard. It's not ideal. It's not as posh as that. That's about 15 quid. Very useful, made a lot of guitars with that. Um, I think this was 70 quid. It will last my entire life. It's a phenomenal bit of kit. They even do bigger ones, which apparently is better. How rude. Got to draw the line somewhere. It starts getting unrealistic. Okay, we've got that done. Let's get some fret slots cut. But before I do that, I'm going to have a salad and I'll come back in a minute looking a little bit more portly. Back in the workshop, we've got to start firing through some of the the smaller jobs, but not less important jobs. It's Monday morning, it's pissing down outside, and uh, I've got a whole day in the workshop, and three videos to film if I can. It's a busy day. Looking at Dave Gilmore's guitar, black dots. Um, I, I'm not sure I've got a picture of the side, I haven't, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's black side dots as well. So that's what we'll go with. I think I've got some black dots. <gasps> I haven't got any black dots. I'm gonna to have to order some black dots. So we'll get all the other stuff done first, ready for the dots. And then we'll magically come back and I'll go, ha ha, magic dots in the hand, because I've ordered them. And this is television. And I can do whatever I want and you don't know what goes on behind the scenes. It's not really that impressive, but we'll try our best. It's been an arduous week, everyone. Teenage sons have brought a lot of grief to the house. One of them anyway. You know who you are, Bob. House is a fucking prison. I'm bullshit! I'm gonna cut me fret slots on here. That's a simple little job, we'll whiz through that. After I've done the fret slots, I'm gonna drill out for me fret markers. Can't put the dots in yet, but you won't know how much time's elapsed, I'll lie. After I've done that, I'm gonna fill the bottom of me little bit of walnut, and I'm gonna have a go at cutting this plug. Just released a video on a Chibson, couldn't help myself, and uh, quite controversial. Most of you were very respectful in the comments, even though your views are worlds apart. But if you haven't watched it, go and watch it. It's eclipsed my previous viewing video, highest viewing video, by a long way. Which is sad, really, because I make guitars and that takes a lot of skill. And just to review a piece of Chinesium crap, everyone wants to watch it and have their fucking two cents. But if you've subscribed and you're back here because you watched that video, well done you. Let's get some real stuff done. I'll meet you over by the fret chopper. Let's condense it down. Let's get some shit done. Tip of the day. Good tape is good. Shit tape is shit. Get what you're paid for. Don't skip. It's like an extra pound a row. Get better tape. 
Keep an eye out for the video about Jigus Maximus, which I should have done by the time you see this. It just goes through a few different ways that people can do fret slots. I've ended up doing it that way. That works nicely. Go and watch the video. I'll, I'll put a link. That's what people do in it. They put links. There's a playlist on my channel called Jigs. That's a clue for you. I was being sarcastic. So I've cut me slots. It gives me perfect results. You've got to love it. So the next thing I've got to do is drill for me fret dots. A simple little process, but one that you could do with just marking out and checking a couple times, because if you get that wrong, you're going to be annoyed with yourself. Normally, I'd like to have the dots here when I'm drilling it out. I haven't got them. That's a bit of an error. So I'll show you what I'm ordering and then it will magically appear. And it begrudges me to use Amazon. I don't like lining Bezos's pockets. I like to get it from smaller vendors, local people, but I need it tomorrow. Six mil black dots, extortionate price. That is something that's typically amazing to buy from AliExpress. Oh, and I've ordered myself a bottle of rum as well. Cheeky. So these dots need to be six mil and the side dots need to be two mil. Oh, the technicalness. So hard, isn't it? Same now with my slide dots. I'll just fire through that. Squire actually does it nice on that transition there between the actual fretboard and the neck. I like that look. There we go, we've got dots on the top, we've got dots on the side. I can't plug them and sand them till tomorrow. Maybe even Wednesday. But you won't know what day it is unless I tell you, so just enjoy the mystery. Oh, that, that's fucking, that is, that is snug. I'm gonna have to go with that. I'll mark the top. Teeny bit of glue. Brought to you by Type Bond. Not sponsored type bond. Just saying, the tiniest bit of glue. Give that a cheeky tap. Good afternoon, Peter. And we're there, we've got a plugged hole. What just happened? Easier than an appointment with the NHS. Skunk stripe complete and plugged. So now the bit I've been avoiding the most. Put in this walnut plug in. I've bought some plug cutters. They're not very good, but we're gonna have to go with it because that's what I've got here. I'll take you over to the pillar drill and I'll show you what I mean. I don't really know what I mean, but hopefully by the time we've drilled that, I'll know what I mean. Right, hopefully you can see what I'm on about now. I've cut a plug, it's got an hole in it. That is gonna lay, fuck off camera. That is gonna lay in that hole and we're gonna glue it in. And I'll leave it till tomorrow and then I'm gonna scallop and carve this out so we should get a close approximation. I'll use a smaller drill bit next time. If I've got any gaps there, I'll put a bit of brown epoxy in and sand that in. We should get away with it. We might not get away with it. But we're all about seeing what we can get away with. Okie dokie, so it's the last thing we're going to do today on this particular build. Don't go too mental with the glue because you cannot clean it out. We want to go worn out old man amounts, not overactive teenager amounts. That is it. That's where that's staying. I'm going to put that on the shelf now and then tomorrow we'll shape it and make it a little bit more pretty. But for now, we'll just leave it there. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Make sure you watch every video to the end because it's always massively appreciated. 
If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, because if you haven't subscribed, you might miss some crazy shit we do in the future. This is a wonderful community and you need to be part of it. Let's try and make guitar building a little bit less stuffy. Let's make it fun. Come and watch. If you've got any tips, leave a comment. Love your comments and always try and reply. Just remember, don't be a wanker.